Um, Hi. I just wonder what, what you put yourself in the performance down to. to, uh, to uh, oh. So, the start of the game was really good. Um, we had top chances, could have, should have scored there already uh, before Brentford had their first corner. Um, I said no to everybody, so I would say it again, and I know people don't want to hear that, but um, they they use everything in these moments. That's why it's really difficult to defend. Um, but we'll, I have to watch it back, but we, we, I'm pretty sure we could have won probably uh, the header in the first post area. Then the ball goes through, and Ivo couldn't see the ball even when he arrives there, um, gets it on his knee, and the ball is in. So, um, you know before the game that they're really strong there. Um, you cannot avoid all cross all, all corners and these kind of things, but um, that's it. The game got decided by the second goal in the end, uh, which is absolutely our fault, nothing else. We get away with a offside or whatever it was. I don't know exactly, I couldn't see it back. Um, the, the, the second goal is called, was disallowed for offside, I think. Yeah? Ah, yeah, because it was in front of the goalie, right. So. Um, well, that's all okay, and then we are not awake when they just go directly against our, our line again, and um, they can cross the ball and they just score the, the second goal, and that decide in the end the game. Um, we had big chances in the first half: free header, Ibu Oxley in the box when Thiago chips the ball there um, on the chest, cannot control it, and of course then Darwin's and 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 Costa's chances. And second half, we start super. So exactly like I go on, you have Robo down the line, cross the ball, and then you have the goal, Darwin's course, which is just doing exceptional, but in the end, it's slightly offside. And we scored this wonderful goal from Oxley. So that's all okay. And then with time and rhythm breaks and going down and a lot of time um, running down the watch without any football action, um, we lost precision. We were not that clear anymore, um, felt the intensity of the game. Um, and then in a moment when you try to settle again, we can see the third goal, which should have been disallowed um, because it's it's a full throttle sprint from two players. And um, when you then get a push in this, in this moment, you can lose balance and you go down. It's of course not a half foul or whatever, but it's just a, a little situation that we slid away, but Stuart Atwell sort of differently. And um, the VR who checked it hides the they hide then generally in these moments behind the phrase, it's not clear and obvious. And um, so third goal. So second goal decided the game, third goal shouldn't have been um, allowed. And we should have played better because the, the, through with these set pieces, Brentford has always the chance to to create chaos. That's what they do, and they do that really well. I respect that a lot, and it's really good and well organized and everything. Um, but we had a lot of chances in a, in in, a, in not a top 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 class game, and um, still had these chances. And that's obviously what we um, what we know. We have to improve that and. Um, in other moments, the second goal is a present. It's a present to 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 Brentford, and that's um, yeah the one I'm obviously really angry about. The others, one should have been disallowed. The others is is unlucky. So um, yeah, doesn't feel great. The BBC colleague, your BBC colleague, asked me how much below we are to last year, uh, and he compared the two games when we played three three here. I thought we had tonight more chances than in that game. Um, and so that's okay. And the rest was at the same wild and chaotic game than that time. So they put everything in. We, we took the fight. It's not that we didn't fight, not at all. Um, but in the end, we are responsible for the for the defeat. Did, did, did the defending surprise you? Because you've been a lot better at the back, haven't you? Or was that more down to... What did, miss, what did surprise well, you? You've been so much better, more, much more secure. In, in recent performances uh, in defensively. So did the defending surprise you today or was it much more about Brentford's attacking play? You cannot really compare the, the different things. So, so the big, so like where it looked really that they can score the fourth one is was after they were three one up. They, these counter attacking moments and that uh, we threw through everything um, up front. So, um, no, the, the the way they play is is clear. So and. The defending around the second goal didn't surprise me. It's just not all right. It's just not right. So we, we they just chipped the ball in behind, and we we can 
deny the cross, I think, with two players. We are there doubling, but let him still cross the ball. And then obviously in, uh, they come, that they come with two players in a far post area, we, we knew before the game. Um, so you have to, you need to know where they are coming from and then you can step in. Um, but we didn't do that. And um, that's why this goal is, is the one uh, we, sh we should have defended. But this has nothing to do with general defending. Um, you cannot defend long balls all the time. It's not, what can you do? We, 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 they were super direct. Um, that limits them in some aspects, but for these kind of game, it gives them always a chance to create a real chaos. And that's what they do. And they organize that extremely well. Um, all my respect. Um, and um, so that's good, but you cannot defend that clear cut all the time you have to fight as well and you have to use your own opportunities because that's obviously their defending is now not like that they don't uh, that the opponent has no chances so I think it would have been no surprise if the game is 2-2 after 55 minutes or whatever so and then from there I would have loved to see the game but it didn't happen um, because of us and then when the third goal uh, when, when they scored the third goal then you could see after very intense games we had now, and this today was super intense as well, um, it didn't look like the biggest belief was there anymore. Chat in the second one. Hi. No, no, um, both not, hopefully. So it's like um, virtual felt a little bit the muscle, and um, but that is fine, and he's a very good judge of these kind of things, but. Um, there was now. I didn't want to take any risk. Um, the physios were looked quite happy when I said we don't take risks. So, but I think it's, it's not an injury. It's just felt intensity. Um, yeah, and the other two things were tactical. We obviously had the opportunities we could bring Nabi, who I think played a really good game, and um, and Robo. And Robo was with the first action after half time. Was directly exactly what we needed. We needed that um, that speed in behind. Um, um, and so that was the reason for these two changes. And just another one on, what did you say to the team at half-time? Because you said they started really well in the second half. We started well in the first half as well, yeah. so, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Look, well, nothing really special. We have to, um, we have just to, to, to remind the boys on the things uh, we, we, we need to do to cause Brentford the problem. So 2-0 is a result, it's good. for the One is 2-0 and 2-0 lead, but it's very dangerous as well. So, um, and I think we, we, we showed that immediately when, when 2-1, we were much closer to score the equaliser than they were to score the third goal. But it stayed a big fight because they threw everything in again. Of course, they deserve the win, it's clear. Um, and um, But in the end, how I said, the second goal decided the game because going coming out of half-time and scoring the equaliser would have been much nicer than um, just the, um, the, the first goal. So um, that's it. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. How could it be a step in a different direction? Yeah. Sidewise, sideway. Oh yeah, of course. So we can change our position only by winning football games, and that tonight is obviously opposite. Um, so we don't get, we didn't gain any points. Um, cannot take any kind of confidence. Can take nothing from it. But so, um, our side, we have to win football games, and um, that we have a lot of players not available at the moment um, and that you can see that in changes I mean we change it's now not that we have just a, can throw in offensive players and stuff like this to give somebody a rest or say okay come on uh, you did enough for today so they all have to pretty much have to fight through um, yeah but that's a situation no nothing last, else last one at the front so it must be very disappointing to lose today what do you think the job that Thomas Frank has done at that I didn't understand the second part of the question. That was, that was, it's very disappointing, yes. And then, I Thomas? Think, what do you think um, the job that Thomas Frank has done at Brentford? Oh, outstanding. He's not only a great coach, he's a nice guy as well. So um, it's not, it doesn't mean that we always agree on all the things that happen on the sideline, but um, I, I respect the work he's doing a lot. When I say they, they, and they do, when I say they stretch the rules in offensive set pieces, as, don't get me wrong. So you, that's smart, but they do. If you would, it would, would single out all the situations, you would see find five fouls. But because it's so chaotic, nobody sees it in the end. So um, and that's.
what they do and it's really good it's really really good and and how they how they react on different things and they play against us like this and they play against other teams playing football and it's a fantastic job he's doing here the club can be really happy that he signed until 2037 or what it's really long right um, so um yeah great club great atmosphere everything everything is good apart from the result of course. Yeah. thank you everyone you're welcome Hi everybody, thanks for watching the show, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like on the way out. Did you know you could get some hoodies, t-shirts and any accessories from redmenmerch.com? So head on over there now and grab yourself something.